Hey guys, it's Becca Boo here. Welcome to my channel. For today, I have another four looks, one palette video because you guys said you wanted more looks. So I'm bringing you more looks. This time I'm using the Sugar Pill Pink Capsule. This is the first capsule that came out. Just call it the pink capsule because the pink. <laughs> this is what the inside looks like. It has the same design as the previous capsule and all of the capsules actually. It has a larger blush shade and it has a mixture of matte and shimmery shades. Mine's a little bit dirty from a... <laughs> creating all these looks for you guys. This palette did come out about a year ago now, but it was still super fun to create these looks. Like I said before, I love this palette design. It's just so freaking cute. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see the four looks that I created using the Pink Capsule palette, then please keep on watching. To start off, I'm going into this sticker stack and I found two stars and I'm going to be placing them on my eye in the desired position. I went for this position, stuck it down, and now diving into the palette. I am taking the shade Slow Dive and I am going to be placing this in my crease. Now when you go over the star you just want to kind of stamp it. You don't want to necessarily, like you're trying not to move it around. So I'm very gentle when I work around the star. But the whole point of the star is to create a negative space. And this was inspired by my sweater that I was wearing. Now I'm going to take the shade Baby Doll to blend that out. I literally love this shade. I feel like it just makes it very fairy like princessy unicorn oh, i'm obsessed with the shade then i'm just taking more of slow dive and further defining the crease because once you blend over it it kind of loses that pigment a little bit so then i'm just going over and adding more now i'm taking my makeup remover in a q-tip and i'm fixing my crease very important to do this with blue eyeshadow especially because otherwise it's just going to be a blue mess Then to cut the crease, I'm taking the ABH eye primer. You can use whatever you like, and I'm just using a large craft brush, flat brush, whatever you want to use to do this. Next I'm taking Undone, that purple, and I'm using a very small brush for this. I'm kind of drawing a wing, stamping on a wing in that general direction. Um, the star is there so you just stamp over it and we'll remove the star after. Then I'm slightly smoking that out kind of towards the lid. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Melody and going over top of that and then pulling this on the lid. Then I'm taking the shade Glory, which is a little bit of a dustier pink, and I'm packing that on the sort of inner third of the lid and slightly towards the crease area, if that makes sense. I'm not always the greatest at explaining things, I'm so sorry. Now I'm taking the shade Supernova on my finger and I'm applying this all over the lid. I felt like this needed to be more frosty like kind of like fairy cupcake unicorny, so I just wanted to add that. And then I'm just removing the star. Ooh la la. <laughs> and then I'm taking more of the ABH eye primer and one of my Suva Beauty liner brushes, and I'm just going in and perfecting that star. And also creating a base for the shadow that I'm going to apply over top.
For that, I am using the shade Dream State, and I'm just packing that on top of that. Then I'm taking the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Graphic Purple, and I'm applying this in my waterline and along my lower lash line. Then I'm just going to be smudging that out, and I'm kind of just leaving this the way that it is. And adding more of Supernova in the inner corner of my eye. I popped on the Kiss Lashes Teddy Lashes and this is the finished look. To start off this look, I'm taking the purple, which is the shade Undone, on a very tiny brush. And I'm adding this to the inner third of my eye. And then I'm going in the outer V, in the wing area, and building that up into the crease. And I'm going to be leaving the middle of the shade empty because I'm doing a halo eye. But a halo eye and like a wing shape look, if that makes sense. Once I have that to my liking, I'm going into the palette and taking the shade Ember and I'm just using my finger and applying this to the center of my lid. Then I just took my brush with the previous shade and I'm just going over the edges so that it blends nicely together. Next I'm taking the shade Radiate and I wanted to add this on the inner brow area. I love adding like a pop of color here. And now I'm going into the bottom, the lower lash line. I'm just doing the same exact things that I did to the top. Popped on those Kiss Teddy Lashes and this is the finished look. To start off this look, I'm going in with Slow Dive on a little bullet pencil brush and I'm adding this to the inner corner of my eye and slowly dragging this in my crease. Then I'm taking Baby Doll and I'm going to be blending that out. But I'm really focusing on this shape that I got going on. I'm going to slowly start to wing it out in the crease but I'm not doing like a super exaggerated shape. And then I'm going back over with Slow Dive and making that a little bit darker and of course blending that again. This is inspired by one of my old looks, but I just wanted to reinvent it. So now I'm going to be taking the shade Glory. I'm using this very odd shaped brush, but it was perfect for this. I'm adding this right on the outer like wing area of my eye and then slightly blending that out. And then I'm going to take more of Glory and actually blend out the outer half of the crease and really like wing that out. It looks crazy, but it works. Now I'm taking the shade Cloud 9 and I'm going to go over that inner half area of the crease. It just made it very uh, shimmery and really cute and fairy. I liked it. <laughs> then I'm taking Dream State and I'm going to be popping that on the center of my eye. And then I'm taking Supernova and adding that on top as well. Then I'm taking NYX's Epic Wear Chill Blue Liner, adding this to the inner half of my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the NYX Epic Liner in Dusty Mauve and adding this to the outer half of my lower lash line. And then I'm just adding the corresponding shadows on top of those liners. So then I decided I wanted to take Supernova on a bigger blending brush and it's basically like a highlight shade. So I'm adding this all over the temple, cheekbone area to give this very exaggerated, whimsical look. Popped on the same Kiss Teddy Lashes and this is the finished look. 
For this look, I'm starting off with the NYX Epic Wear Liner in Chartreuse Flash. And I'm using this as my base. I probably wouldn't use this if I did this look again because it's a little shimmery, but anyway. Now I'm going into the palette and I'm taking the shade Radiate on a blending brush and I'm starting to pack that in the outer V of my eye and then starting to blend that out. See, this is when I had that moment of, is this shimmery or is this matte? I think it's shimmery from the pencil, so yeah. Anyway, <laughs> next I'm taking the shade Melody on a blending brush and I'm adding this to the inner brow area. Next, I'm taking my ABH eye primer and I am cutting out my crease and blocking out my lid. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to go in with Dream State. And I'm adding this to at least half of the lid. And then I'm going in with cloud nine and I'm going to add this to the rest of the lid. And then I'm going to go back in with the previous brush and do the back and forth until we blend out the shades. And of course, going in with more radiate and blending the blue into the green. Then I thought it would be fun with some liner, so I'm going in with this Winky Lux blue liner. And I'm first drawing a wing across my lash line. And then I thought it needed a wing joining up in the crease, so I drew a line to meet up with that line that I have going on in the crease. Then I just added more of Dream State in the inner corner of my eye. And then for the lower lash line, I'm first going in with this NYX purple liner pencil and adding this to my waterline and running this across my lower lash line and then I am taking the purple from the palette and adding that over top. Did some blending with the brush that I use with the pink to slightly add a bit of pink and then I also added some of that blue in the inner half of the lower lash line. Popped on these Kiss Teddy Lashes, and this is the finished look. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know which look was your favorite down in the comments below. I don't know when my next four looks one palette video is going to be. I mean, this one, in between filming other things, took me, I guess, about two weeks to film in between other things. But should I do the orange capsule palette, which is a little bit more neutral? Or should I do the black capsule, which... Oh, can I get it open? Is more bright. So let me know which palette I should do next. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Just a reminder, I am uploading every Sunday and then somewhere randomly in the week, I think one day it's been Monday, one day it's been Thursday. <laughs> I'm just really sticking to that absolute upload on Sundays and then somewhere else during the week. So make sure you have your notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you on my next video. Bye guys!